Elizabeth Sutton is a 29-year-old entrepreneur that has an impressive list of business partnerships under her belt. Her recent collaborations include Joe and the Juice and Yanovich. Elizabeth joins us in studio now to tell us how she turned one of life's low points into her highly successful career. Good to have you with us, Elizabeth, and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Thank you for having me on the show. It's such an honor to be here. Well, Elizabeth, we mentioned the low point because that is something that you stress and emphasize a lot, that this all came about because of your divorce and one of your most iconic symbols is the butterfly, which of course is a symbol of metamorphosis. So tell us about that. I actually had a lot of loss on top of my divorce. We lost a lot of money. I had a number of very important people in my life pass away. Um, I miscarried and I ended up getting divorced with a three week old baby. And you know those moments where you think life can't get any worse? Um, God had another plan for me. Six months after my divorce, my dear friend and my art assistant was killed in my car, leaving my 27th birthday party on the last night of Art Basel. And it actually took my career into a different trajectory um, it took me into the fashion trajectory and it was unfortunately a accident that led to rainbows after the storm. Right, from a really dark place you came out with this vibrant colorful collection which ranges from tiles to handbags to other fashion accessories. Tell us about that range. So after I left my marriage, I started as a fine artist. I'm a self-taught artist. I picked up a paintbrush for the first time ever four and a half years ago after going through a lot of financial loss. And I had developed a collection of home accessories and decor. I knew I needed to go into consumer products after leaving my marriage because the fine art world is very up and down and I needed to pad my revenue stream with something that was more consistent. And I was developing this collection, but then my life changed a lot. And I had done a collaboration with a brand called Barry Lynn Accessories. She's the largest luxury little girls accessories right. line in the market. And when the accident happened, I said to my mentor, my manufacturing partner, what's going on with my samples? I just lost a lot of money. I need to make money ASAP. And she said, well, then you need to produce something that I can produce immediately. Mm -hmm. And that's how I ended up with my clutches. I said, I'm going to focus on brand experience and translating my artwork into every aspect of my brand, especially with the packaging. So those are very cute handbags over there. Is that the vertical of your business that you've seen has been generating the most revenue? Where are you seeing the most success from a product line perspective? So the most revenue is still generated from my fine art. My fine art is fairly expensive. It ranges from $5,000 to $30,000. My artworks take from 40 to 400 hours each. And I launched my clutches in November of 2018, and then my leather accessories in September of 2019. So they're fairly new verticals, and actually I just opened my line to wholesale distribution this past week. Yesterday, I finished up a trade show called Coterie. It's the largest fashion and accessories trade show in the country at the Javits Center. And Elizabeth Sutton Collection has officially gone global. We opened accounts in Serbia, Vancouver, Dubai, Australia. Anything and in Israel? Not yet, so I'm open. If any stores want to hit me up, I go to Israel a lot. Well, I grew where up can, there. Very quickly, where can people get your products here in the U.S.? First and foremost, you can get my product at ElizabethSuttonCollection.com. Um, right now, I have distribution at the Fayina in Miami, at the St. Regis Aspen Outfittings in Aspen, at Marissa Collections in Naples, at Peter Kate. We opened a lot of accounts this week, um, so it'll be available all over the country, and I will put a roundup of my new stockists on my blog. All right. Well, Elizabeth, congratulations on your new collection. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. Elizabeth thank you for having me.